G'day Off Trackers, welcome back to another episode. This week we're coming from a hip camp called Absolute Beachfront at Balmheads. And guys, this is paradise. We're here for two nights and I cannot tell you how good this place is. If you're coming up to Harvey Bay, Barham Heads area, this is where you want to stay. I'll give you a look around our camp. Ash, what do you think it's like? I don't think you can get much better position. Nah. Anywhere. Nah. This is pro and then on grass as well, so you stay nice and clean. I'll show you our setup, and then my parents have actually come and joined us, and I'll show you what they call camping. You'll get a laugh out of it. So we're literally set up. With the beach there view from so from our window you could see the beach and then i just went in for a dip and the water is perfect and then just down there is the actual lake inlet which is where we're going to take you later today and we'll actually do some paddle boarding ash probably can do some fishing but I'll show you what my parents call camping. This is what they've rocked up to go camping in. Air conditioning, fridge, freezer, massive one, shower, everything, queen bed. Are you guys decent? No. Here you are. Here you go, check out their camping setup. Is this camping? I don't think it's camping, guys. But yeah, anyway, we're going to cook some bacon and eggs. Real camping style, not their style. And get on with our day and we'll see whatever happens. You guys can come with us. cooking me for breakfast. I've got as bacon, tomatoes and what sort of eggs do you want? Difficult Sunny question, side it? up. What the hell's that? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just cook you. Just a normal eggs. egg, not scramble eggs. Just crack it in the pan. Oh. You can do the egg Make part. sure it's soft and oozy in the middle. Yeah, you can do the egg part. Yeah, we'll probably stuff it up. <laughs> and then, I didn't forget the eggs this time, but what did I forget? Your bread? Yeah, my special gluten free bread, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna eat some of Ashes. Hopefully, I don't end up in hospital again. I'm not taking him. <laughs> Make sure you bring mosquito spray. There is mosquitoes and sand flies here. What's up, off trackers? So, as you can probably tell from those couple of clips there, I was really flat and deflated. There was a reason for that. Turns out I actually had COVID. So, I returned home. I reckon probably 10 minutes after filming that last clip, started to get really crook. Uh, and we came back and then yeah, it turned out 19 days. It took me to get better and I ended up doing a day in hospital. So unfortunately that cut the whole trip short. Um, we didn't get to film any stuff on the way back. Sorry about that. Uh, but I still wanted to put that up because I wanted to show you how nice that uh, wiki camps was and to show people sort of what's up that way. What I am gonna do for you guys, I do actually have uh, some clips that I haven't put up yet of when me and Taylor did a day trip around Brizzy uh, And there is also a little bit about me talking about myself and off track and why I started it So I'll roll those clips on for you now See G'day ya. off trackers 
So as you can see, this episode's a little bit different already. I'm actually going to try doing more of a vlog style and take you along from start to finish uh, of basically going on a trip, going on an adventure. Uh, as well as basically giving you a little bit of an insight into me and into Off Track and why I've started it. So I guess the first thing is, let's get dressed into our adventure gear. And go! That's better, now I'm adventure ready. Now nah, let's get rid of the hat, we don't need that inside. So as I said to you guys, there will be an adventure at the end of this, so let's get into the vlogging. Uh, so a question I am getting a fair bit is, why did I start off track? And I thought I'd go into that. Uh, it is a little bit different to most people. I have actually had, uh, I've tried to start my own charity before, which involved a lot of actually getting outdoors and getting active. Uh, a lot of that was around depression uh, and basically people that are socially isolated. Uh, and then I also have tried to start my own bushwalking groups as well on Facebook. So I've tried a couple of different things to get people out there and active. Uh, and then yeah, when I saw YouTube starting to bust up, I basically went, let's jump on it and let's start making some content to try and show people what's out there and get them out there. Because when you're out in the sun uh, and you're out being active, you actually let off dopamine, which is a feel good, in, uh, feel good drug that our bodies produce and it basically can fix depression if you get out and get active. So it's something I'm definitely passionate about. Me, myself, I do have ASD. Uh, for those who don't know what ASD is, basically autism spectrum disorder. Uh, and with that comes a couple of complications. I am very hyperactive, as my friends would know. I cannot sit still. Poor Ash, whenever we go to the beach, I'm just up, down, up, down, up, down. So this all comes into that as well. This basically gives me somewhere to channel my energy when I'm, we're away camping or when we're away on little adventures uh, and give her a bit of peace and quiet. Uh, as well as basically it helps me stay positive as well, helps pushing me to get out there. And so that's probably enough for that. I don't like to get sort of too deep and emotional about things, but yeah, basically I'm doing this to give back to everyone. Uh, and that's why I keep pushing on it. So I hope you guys are enjoying it because it is for you guys. Uh, and basically I've had no negative feedback through this process. So I want to thank all of my subscribers and everyone that watches my video Nobody has given me any negative criticism. It's all been positive. So thank you so much guys for pushing me along and Let's get into the vlog. I'll actually show you guys what's involved in getting ready So first things first, I've got all my camera gear on charge That's fully charged now. So I've got to pack all that up I'll show you how much there is that actually comes along this YouTubing takes a fair bit of effort So that's all my batteries there That have been on charge. So I'll pack them all up and then I'll pack some food you guys probably don't want to watch me pack it up, so I'll get this done, and then see you in a minute. Okay, so today's plan is basically we're gonna head up to Diagola National Park, uh, Mount Me sort of section. I'm gonna to go to the, my memory's not so good, so give me one second. We're heading to the, the gantry. Uh, which is basically a woodmill. I've never been there. Been once into Diagula, but never into this section and never really into any hard four-wheel driving. But this is where we're basically heading. So I'll show you my Hema there. As you can see, there's all these four-wheel drive tracks all through Diagula National Park. So we're going to head up and check some of those out, uh, as well as that old sawmill, uh, and probably head down. There is a waterfall there. We might head down and check out the waterfall, but it is currently bucketing down. So a lot of the footage may be done from inside the car. Contemplating getting an umbrella, and I might actually let Taylor do some of the driving. I'll get soaked, as I don't think it's fair to make him sit out in the rain and film. But yeah, that's the plan for today. So okay, and that's the car all packed. So I'll show you what we're dealing with today. You can see all the water down there. She's still pissing down, but yeah, this won't stop me. As I said, I've got to get out of the house, so let's head full driving. Got my dry as a bone on, uh, and then hopefully Taylor's got an umbrella, and yeah, I'll probably do the filming, but let's get stuck in. Car's still in beast mode. No canopy on the back. Got to face in the wrong way, almost went to the wrong side. I 
Okay. I'll uh, see you guys when I pick Taylor up. Okay, guys, I've now picked up the big dog. Taylor's in the car. There you go. And Taylor, if you turn around, look at this. No rain. We actually have the sun popping through. So it may get hot enough that we need to go for a swim. We'll yep. see what happens. But we're on our way up to the Grange or whatever it was. I told you guys earlier. Uh, just have a look at that and then we'll actually set off and do the proper full driving. You excited, Taylor? Mate, I'm absolutely pumped. Two blokes possibly going swimming. Look out. <laughs> you think we're going to get muddy as all fuck? Ah, uh, definitely, definitely. If, if we get bogged, are you going to be pushing the car out from the back? No, I'll just supervise <laughs> and uh, from inside the car. That's what the winch is for, isn't it? That's right, mate. All right, guys, we'll see you when, you get there, when we get there. Here we are at stop number one, the Gantry Crane. So this is pretty impressive, 1930s, they used to use this, log all the trees up here, and then cart them down, was it 70 kilometers? 70 k's, the city of Brisbane. 70 k's back to Brizzy. That's a mission and a half, check this thing out. Still standing. Shows you how good Australian timber is, it's still up there going. But yeah, we'll probably have a little bit of sun to eat here and then Push on in and do some full driving. Not sure where we're going to go yet, but at least it's not raining. Big plus. Excited? Yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a discussion. Not sure if you guys can see up there. There's like electrical components. And I'm calling bullshit. I don't reckon they had electricity back in the 1930s. I, don't know if I reckon they did. Excuse the language, <laughs> but I'm staying strong on this one. He reckons they did. I reckon it was steam power or something like that. <laughs> What do you guys reckon? Electricity or no electricity in the 1930s? Well, we've tried every single entry into Jaguar National Park and the bloody rangers, what have they done to us? They've, they've stitched us up, mate. <laughs> stitched us up real good. Every single entry has a bloody gate on it, which I didn't know, and they've locked it because of all the rain. As you can see, it's actually fucking hot and sunny, isn't it? It's bloody beautiful. Very humid though, but lovely day. How much rain have we had since we got up here? Uh, not a drop, mate, not a drop. So why is it closed? Fuck. Whoops, no swearing, I have to beep. <laughs> but yeah, so unfortunately, can't get in there, can't do any forward driving, we've still had a good drive up here. Uh, so, I don't think we'll probably do much else, I'll just head home and drop Taylor off. So I'll see you next week. See ya!